Say, ah. Uh... Looks good. Great. Now, can you tell me how many flippers I'm holding up? Two. That's right. You're a completely healthy fish. Next. Oh, no. Let me take a look at that. Don't worry. My name's Peso. I'm an octonaut and a medic. I help creatures who are hurt or sick. If you let me bandage that claw, it will feel better. Ah, good as new. These arctic waters are cold. I'd better head back to the octopod and warm up. Whoops! My medical bag. Oh no, I've got to find it. Aha! Just a clam. I know it's down here somewhere. <gasps> a walrus. He's using his whiskers to find clams. <laughs> Maybe he can help me find my medical bag. Oh, thank you. I've been... Mm. Oh. Hey. Uh -huh. <laughs> what a weird clam. Hey, the chief might like that. Wait, come back. That's not a clam. It's my medical bag. Captain. Go ahead, Peso. Captain, my medical bag has been taken <gasps> by a walrus. Wazi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, can anyone think of why a walrus would take Peso's medical bag? He must have thought it was a clam. Yes, they do love to eat clams, Captain. It had all my bandages and medicine. Without my medical bag, I can't help creatures feel better. Don't worry, Peso. We're going to find that walrus. We'll march right up to that whiskery lump and make him give back your medical bag. Yow! Peso, quasi, to the gup A. Open the octa hatch, Tweak. Right away, Cap. Ahoy! One whiskery walrus right ahead. We must be getting close to a walrus colony where they live. Whoa! That's a lot of walruses. If your bag's in there, we'll find it. <clears throat> um, hello there. I believe there's been a misunderstanding. You see... Hey, you guys aren't walruses. You got that right. We're octonauts. This is our colony. Walruses only. Um, easy now. We just want to... All right, back off. Move on. Oh, Move well, on. Well, well, uh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Enjoy the dip. So much for marching right up to them. <laughs> got me when I wasn't ready. Avast, you scurvy walruses. Hmm. There's got to be another way for us to get into the walrus colony. And then, splash, we all fell into the water. Hmm. Walruses don't like to share their home with other creatures. Sounds like if you're not a walrus, you're not getting in. But if we looked like a walrus and acted like a walrus... Maybe we could sneak in. And find my medical bag. Tweak, we're going to need your help. Sure thing, Cap. Octonauts, Operation Octo Walrus begins now. Let's go. think Tweak's costume will fool them. If it'll get my medical bag back, it's worth a try. Fair enough. Come in, Shellington. This is Barnacles. We're sneaking into the walrus colony now. Excellent. Now it's very important that you act like a walrus. Don't let them push you around. Huh. Must be a new guy. 
Walruses say hello by blowing in each other's faces. Blow back or they'll think you're being booed. Oh, um... <gasps> That's all you've got. <sighs> um, we need to blow harder. Everybody. One, two, three. <gasps> <gasps> Now that's more like it. Nice to meet you. If you've got any extra clams, give them to the chief. He's hungry. We've all got to share our food until he feels better and can find his own. Right. Thanks for the tip. It's working. We've made it inside the colony. One of Peso's stickers. We must be getting close. Keep your eyes peeled. You're stepping on me tail. Sorry. But it's hard when they keep smooshing up against us. Ah, typical walrus behaviour. They love to get cosy and cuddle with one another. Cosy isn't quite the word for it. Phew, that's better. Don't get too relaxed. Aye, what's this? A new guy? That's the one who took my medical bag. <sighs> Come in, Shellington. We've got an angry walrus heading right for us. Jumpy jellyfish. It's a walrus challenge. Ugh. He wants to see who's bigger and tougher. If we want him to tell us where the bag is, we'll have to challenge him back. We could be bigger and tougher than he is. Hop on me shoulders, Captain. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. <laughs> bigger. <laughs> Are you okay, Peso? Um, I'm okay. Okay, okay. You're bigger than I thought. Where is the medical bag? M medical bag? It's white and uh, it opens up and inside... Oh, you mean uh, the funny white clam that I found? I gave it to the chief to try and cheer him up. Which one is the chief? The chief is probably the biggest walrus with the biggest tusks. Aha! Bring him on! Careful. Quasi, try to get back into position. Huh? I can't get back in position while you're sitting on my... Hey, 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 hey! Intruders! Oh, run! Captain, come in. What's going on? Have you located the chief yet? Shellington, this really isn't a good time. <laughs> Take them to the chief. At least we get to meet the chief. What are you doing in our colony? Speak. Uh, please, we didn't mean to bother you. We're just looking for Peso's bag. You mean, that strange white clam? That's it. My medical bag. Your medical bag? I'm the Chief Walrus. It's mine. We don't want any trouble, Chief. But that bag belongs to my friend Peso. You think you can just waddle into my colony and tell me what to do? Oh no. His flipper. Stop! You shouldn't be walking around on a hurt flipper. If it's not bandaged right now, it will only get worse and worse until... Oh, my flipper really does hurt. Can you tell me what happened? Well, I twisted it the other day, and now I can't even swim. That's why everybody's been bringing you clams to eat. Do you think you could do anything for me? Hmm. One twisted flipper. I'll need my medical bag. Uh, all right. Here. Oh. There. Good as new. Hey. Thank you. It feels better already. I don't know what I would have done without you. And I don't know what I would have done without my medical bag. Now remember, you take it easy on that flipper. I will, and you come back to visit whenever you like. I hereby declare you all honorary walruses. Will you join us in the official walrus cheer? <laughs> G 
Just look at these anemones, Peso. They're so colorful. Each one looks like a flower or a, a monster. Ah! <laughs> oh, it's not a monster. That's an elephant seal. A very large seal with a great big nose. Like an elephant. Is he snoring? Hmm. Elephant seals sometimes do sleep in the water. I think something's wrong with his skin. He's molting, losing his old skin so a new layer can grow in. See? Does that hurt him? <laughs> Not at all. Molting is perfectly normal for an elephant seal. It's the same as when you grow too big for your clothes and need new ones that fit better. But elephant seals are supposed to molt on the beach where it's warm. Molting in the cold water will make him ill. Oh no, he's nowhere near a beach. Shellington, we have to help him. Captain, we have an elephant seal emergency. We need to bring him to the octopod. And he's really huge. And loud. We have to move him, but he'll never fit into the guppy. Hold tight, we're on our way. Sound the octo alert. Octonaut to the launch bay. Tweak, we need to tow an elephant seal to the octopod right away. The Gupsy's ready to go, Cap, and I've added an extra strong tow line. Good thinking. Quasi, you're with me. Yow! <sighs> Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Cap. Shiver me, whiskers. He is huge. Let's get him to safety. We've got him, Peso. Let's go. Through this door. Hey, boy! He does it. There you go. Phew, he's okay. But boy, does he snore. <gasps> Peso, how's your patient? His temperature is perfect. As soon as he regrows his skin and hair, he'll be as good as new, Captain. He's awake. Where am I? You were molting in the water. We didn't want you to get poorly, so we brought you back to our ship, the Octopod. Ooh, thanks for helping me. The name's Leon. Can't wait to get to the beach, see my friends and family and... Uh, <coughs> I don't think you're ready to move yet, Leon. Where is your beach? We'd be happy to take you there. Well, it's a beach, uh, uh, with lots of molting elephant seals like me on it, and... Uh, oh boy, molting makes me really, really, really tired. He needs to rest while he finishes growing his new skin, Captain. In the meantime, we'll look for a beach with elephant seals on it. Activating Octoscope. No elephant seals on this beach. Searching for Leon's beach for days. 
We'll just have to try again tomorrow. Now, let's get some sleep. Leon? I feel great, and I'm looking good. Check out my nice new skin and fur. You've finished all your molting. Congratulations. Chest bump! <laughs> Whoa, sorry. Uh, didn't mean to knock you over with that. Oh, not to worry. I'm fine. I'm just excited to get to the beach and play with all the other elephant seals. Well, I'm afraid we haven't found your beach quite yet. You haven't? But this is a special time when all of us wake up and play games. And I'm missing out on all the fun. Don't worry, we'll find your beach. And while we're looking, we can have fun here on the Octopod too. We can? Can we play some elephant seal games? You know, like we do on the beach? I'd love to. I'll show you the games room in the morning. Okay, let's start with one of my favorite games, wrestling. Wrestling? Yeah, elephant seals love to wrestle. Flipper to flipper? Okay, flipper to flipper. Whoa. Okay, uh, we'll make it two flippers against one. On the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Phew. Sorry about that. Uh, sometimes I forget how strong I am. Oh, not to worry. I'm fine. But maybe we should try a different game. Hmm. How about a race? You're on. To the hallway. Okay, I'll, I'll give you a head start. Thanks. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Not to worry, I'm fine. Leon! Look out! Oh! Quasi, on the beach! Elephant seals! And not a moment too soon, eh, Captain? Are you okay? I'm great! This is even more fun than the beach! Let's do it again! Attention, <gasps> Octonauts! We have found a beach full of elephant seals. To the launch bay! Just pull! <gasps> to the launch bay! Leon, aren't you coming? Um... Uh... Sure, I suppose. Peso, into the gut. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You got it, Cap. Wait a second. I'm having so much fun here with you. I don't want to leave now. Sorry, Leon. The octopod's just not big enough for an elephant seal. And the other elephant seals must miss you. But I'll miss you guys. How about if we race you to the beach? A race? You're on! He's fast! Elephant seals are strong swimmers. I win the race! Yeah! Hey, Leon! You found us! <laughs> We were so worried about you. Come on, let's play! <laughs> See, they really missed you. Oh, I never would have made it here if you hadn't rescued me. Chest bump? Uh, how about a hug this time? Oh, shucks. <laughs> <laughs> Quasi, peso. 
Have you had any luck finding seaweed samples for Shellington? Aye, Captain. I'd say we've got every colour of seaweed there is. I can't wait to study each one under the microscope. We'll be there with your seaweed just as fast as we can, matey. See you back at the octopod. Barnacles out. What do you say we go a wee bit faster to get home? Maybe a little faster would be okay. <laughs> Something's wrong. He's stuck. I can't slow her down or make her stop. Rocks. Yow! Yeah! Huh? I'm... I'm okay. Are you? Hi. But our radio isn't. And the octopod is too far away for us to call them on our helmet radios. Well, matey, the first thing to do is get out and take a look at the gut. Ah, there's a bunch of seaweed stuck in the propeller. I'll pull it out. Let me help. <laughs> Got it! Oh, no! No worries. I'll go down and grab the gup finder off the gup. We'll use it to let Captain Barnacles know where we are. So he'll be able to come and save us. Good idea. Is everything OK down there? <sighs> ah, got it! Yes! Yow! Give that back, you scurvy dog! Fish! Stop! That's our gup finder! <laughs> oh. Now what? Now we find land. <gasps> land! Come on! Quasi and Peso should be back by now. I'm on it, Captain. Octopod to Quasi and Peso. Their radio's not working, Captain. Activate the gup finder. It'll show us where they are. Hmm. The gup finder shows that they're heading away from the octopod. But they said they'd come home right away. Something's wrong. Sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, Quasi and Peso's radio is broken, and the Gup Finder is showing that they're heading away from the octopod. Oh my, they could be lost or in trouble. Professor, I'm going after them. The Gup A is ready to go, Cap. Squeak, open the octo hatch. You got it, Cap. I wonder if there's anyone on this island who can help us. Doesn't look like it. Visitors! Hey! <laughs> Hello and welcome! Huh? huh? <clears throat> Down here, my friends. Down here. Welcome to the island where the breeze is cool, the sand is warm, and the fish can walk? Well spotted, my friend. Most fish can't walk on land, but I'm not most fish. I'm a comb tooth Blenny. You can call me Blenny for short. Ha <laughs> ha! Who are you? We're the Octonauts. I'm Peso. And I'm Quasi. We need to get back home to the Octopod as soon as possible. Too bad you can't stay for a while. I was just getting warmed up. See you around. It could take Captain Barnacles a while to find us here. If he could find us at all. Don't worry me, hearty. I learned how to get off a desert island back in me pirate days. All we have to do is build a raft and sail away. Let's do it. I've almost caught up with them. Where's the gup E? Huh? What's that dogfish got? You've got the gup finder. 
But that means Quasi and Peso could be anywhere. Time to set sail. Leaving already? Well, till we meet again. Goodbye, me hearty. Nice to meet you. Heave ho, matey. Sinking. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> ah, our raft is gone. This is a disaster. Don't worry, Peso. I'll think of something else. Wait, I have an idea. Maybe we could send a message for help. That's impossible, me hearty. We've got no radio, no gut finder, nothing. We just need a messenger. We can't get off the island, but we can send a message with someone who can. Huh? Blenny! Would you deliver a message to Captain Barnacles on the Octopod and tell them where we are, please? I'd love to, but Blennies like me don't go in deep water. We have to stay in the shallow water around the island, you know? But what if you swim out just far enough to pass the message along to someone else? Hey, that's a great idea. Consider it done, my friends. See? I told you I'd think of something. <sighs> well, this is about as deep as I can go. Oh, hey, excuse me, Bluefish. Spare a minute. Oh, hello. Hi, I need to get a message to the deep. Tell Captain Barnacles that there are two octonauts named Quasi and Peso, and they're stuck on a desert island. I can't swim too deep, but I can pass along the word to some folks who can. Thanks! You're a pal! Hello there, Giant Squid. Can I ask you a favour, please? I need to pass on a message. Tell Captain Barnacles, two Octobots named Crazy and Pesto are stuck in the desert. Need some help? All right, I'll tell me friends. Oh, do Got any news? Aye, Anglerfish. Tell Captain Farnacles that some octagons named Lazy and Ernesto are stuck in some dessert. Go as deep as you can and pass it on. Oh, right. Will do. Here, got to get a message to Napkin Carbuncles about some octagons named Hay and Presto. They've deserted, or they're stuck, or something like that. Anyway, pass it on. Octagons stuck. Maybe he meant octonauts. Wait, uh, can you lead me to these octagons? I mean, octonauts? Afraid not, but I can put you in touch with the giant squid what told me about it. Then lead the way. The sun is setting. Aye, matey. And it looks like we might have to spend the night here. Or maybe not, my friends. Look! We're oh, over oh, here! Matey. We're over here! Well, I'm looking for a couple of octagons named Hay and Presto. Huh? So the message got a little messed up, but it worked! <laughs> We're going home! Thank you, Blenny. No problem. Remember, you can count on me to help you out on land or sea. Just drop me a fishing line, call me on my shell phone, or sea mail me. <laughs> Peso, be sure to keep an eye on your little brother. 
We're going to have so much fun, Mum. We're going to play games on the octopod and we're going to... All right, Pinto, but we can't play right now. Captain Barnacles and the others are out on a mission and they need my help. There's an injured fish who needs a medic right away. Pinto, promise to do whatever your big brother tells you. And Peso, good luck on your mission. Love you. Love you too, Mummy. Bye, Mum. Wow, a mission! This is just like the time those baby sea snails were in trouble and you saved them. Remember? You were a big hero. Oh, I wouldn't call myself a hero. Well, how about when you have to take care of animals that are big and scary? You have to be really brave to do that. Well, it's all part of the job. Can I come with you? Please, please, please! I don't see why not, as long as you stay out of trouble. I will. Oh, wow! Thanks, Peso! Captain, I'm on my way. And I've brought my little brother Pinto with me. Ah, very good. We'll see you both in a few minutes. Pinto, scarf off, helmet on. Good to see you again, Pinto. Hi. Glad you're here to help out your brother. Where's the patient? Right this way. I bet it's a barracuda, or a devilfish, or, or maybe even a giant octopus. Oh. That's the patient? Uh -huh. Say, ah. Uh. <sighs> I reckon it's really, really serious. Can you even talk? Uh, actually, I've got a bruise on me fin. Pinto, would you please hand me your stethoscope? A thermometer, tongue depressor, body cast! Just a bandage roll, please. There, that should do it. Dashi, can you please take a picture so I can show my friends what a hero my big brother is? No problem. You should rest. Would you like to come back to the octopod with us so that you can get better? Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Good work, Peso. And Pinto. We still have some exploring to do around here. See you later back at the Octopod. Wow, an anglerfish. <gasps> What's that? Are you a snake or an eel? Uh, hey guys, would you come over here and help me work out what I'm looking at? Hey, what is that? I wonder what that was. It was huge. Ah, oh, a tail like that can only belong to one thing, mateys. The dreaded monster of the deep known as the Nakawak. The Naka what? The Naka Whack. He's as big as three whales set end to end. Each tooth is the size of a dolphin. And he's crafty. Knocks over ships just for the fun of it, he does. Ah, oh, come on, Quasi. You don't really believe all that, do you? Don't I? I bet that Naka Whack comes back for a sneak attack. And if he does, I'll be waiting for him. Well, it's a mystery, all right. And one we need to investigate. Professor Inkling, are you there? Yes, Captain. How can I help you? Dashi took a picture of the tail of a mysterious animal, but none of us has a clue what it might be. It's the Nakawak, I tell you. The Nakawak. She's sending you the photo right now. Oh, most intriguing. Let me take a look through my books and see what I can find out. Thanks, Professor. Barnacle's out. Hello, Professor. Would you like to join us for a little game of table tennis? Uh, oh, I'd love to play, but uh, I'm too busy searching for a monster. A monster? Where? Well, Quasi thinks it's a monster, but it's probably just a creature we've never seen before. Do you need any help? Certainly! Why don't you go through this book and look for deep sea creatures with very long tails, while I go through this one? And I'll keep an eye out for any monsters. Look, over there! No, just another anglerfish. We're going to have to go deeper. Hi, 
right into that Nakawak's lair. Inkling, have you found anything yet? Not yet, Captain. It's getting hard to hear you. Inkling? Captain? Oh, the radio doesn't work when they're down that deep. Excuse me, but the monster you're looking for, is it long? Yes, extremely long. And does it have shiny silver skin? I think so, yes. Does it have red spikes on its head? Red spikes? Whatever made you think of red spikes? No! Oh. Ah. <coughs> Sound the Octo Alert! Sound the Octo Alert! Octonauts, to your stations! Octonauts, who sounded the Octo Alert? What's wrong? I'm sorry, Captain, but we saw the monster! It was right outside Professor Inkling's window and... Ah! We have to get back to the Octopod now. Hang on. Long tail, red spikes, silvery skin. Of course! Now I know what it is. It's an oarfish. An oarfish? I've never even heard of an oarfish. That's because they're so rare. <laughs> you see, Pinto, I told you it wasn't a monster. Pinto, where did he go? Oh dear, I know where he's going. And we'd better catch him before he gets there. Pinto, stop! Pinto, what do you think you're doing? I'm looking for the monster. It's not a monster, it's an oarfish, and... Ugh! Wow! That's the longest fish I've ever seen in my life. I don't think the oarfish feels very well. This one, he's crying. Let me check. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Oarfish, are you all right? Oh, no, I feel awful. Why did you follow us back to the Octopod? Oh, I wouldn't usually. I'm kind of shy. But when I saw you take care of that other fish, I thought maybe you could help me too. Of course I'll help. What's wrong? Oh, me throat. It really hurt. And I'm the longest fish in the ocean, so that's a lot of throat. OK, let's have a look. Say, ah. Ah. Wider, please. Ah. Wow! A vast, it's the Nakawak. And it's got peso. We have to save him. Your throat is all red. I think all you have is a bad cold. Why don't we... Yeah! Don't worry, Peso. I won't let the Nakawag hurt me, little buddy. Whoa, whoa, Quasi. False alarm. This isn't a Nakawag. Huh? It's an oarfish. The longest fish in the ocean. <laughs> you mean you weren't trying to eat Peso here? Ah! Of course not. I only eat tiny things, and besides, I don't have any teeth. Luke! Ah. I knew that. Now we just have to work out how to fit him into the sick bay. Amazing! The oarfish can keep his body straight up while he swims. Teal looks good down here. How do things look up there, Peso? Looks good, Tweak. Ah, oh, I'm feeling better already. He is incredibly long. I can see why you might think he was a sea monster, Quasi. Yep, my brother's a hero, all right. He helps any creature who's sick or hurt, from the smallest fish to the longest. And look, Pindo, I took that picture you wanted of him so you can show your friends. <laughs> <laughs>